Hey, Starting Grounds Church, we are rolling into week two of our quarantine coronavirus. Here we come. I got to tell you that this is a great time for us to be alive. Amen. I know that it's been tough for some of you. I know that it's been tough to have good, good things going on. So I thought I'd lighten things up to remind you that things are not so bad. In fact, I've been spending a lot of time on Facebook trying to connect with all of you. And you've been bringing out some great memes. I got to tell you some spot on memes of what it means for us to be in this Corona thing. So I thought I would send you my top 10 memes that I have found from you. For example, how many guys are looking forward to the Olympics? Olympics 2020 being like social distance. That's right. <laughs> Take a look at this. How many guys remember grocery aisles that had this? Yes. Remember when there was like multiple choices and like you could actually choose what kind of toilet paper you have and you didn't have to fear what was going on. Yeah, that was like last week. Crazy. Take a look at this. How many of you guys remember Monk? He was the one who was like OCD, a bit of a germaphobe. Apparently he was the only one sane. Yes, we're all starting to look like him these days. Amen. And our good old Hasselhoff. Yes, he's pretty stoked about the finger guns being back because we can't shake hands or give hugs. So... Right back at you, Hassel, Hassel off. What about all of us pastors who are sitting here? We are suddenly boom, and suddenly we're all televangelists. I would have never thought that I'd be here in front of a camera trying to connect with you like this. Well, here I am, and uh, you're stuck with me. <laughs> about the guys who uh, are missing their sports. Day three of without sports. I found a lady sitting on the couch next to me. Apparently, she's my wife. She seems nice. That's right. Get to know her. She's awesome. Come on. Here we go. How many of you guys have ever had a dog? Yes. The cone. And suddenly it says, this is for your own good to keep you from touching your face. How many of you guys notice you touch your face all the time? And why hasn't anybody ever told me that I touch my face all the time? I don't know. But apparently it needs to stop. So if you don't stop, we're putting a cone on your head. All right. We're coming after you. What about the dinosaurs back in the day? Meteorite! Let's all get toilet paper! <laughs> Don't think that's what happened, but apparently it does when Corona hits. All right. Oh, and another pastor's one. That's right. Pastors live streaming their sermon this Sunday. That's right. They got their suit on and no shorts on the bottom. Uh... And of course, we'll end with a good one. Chuck Norris apparently was positive with coronavirus. You know what? They had to quarantine the virus. That's right. That's your memes for coronavirus. I want you to be able to comment on the bottom. In other words, right underneath this, put down what your favorite memes are. I want to see what you got because there's some really good ones out there. And of course, it reminds us, you know what? God's in control. God's doing stuff. I don't know about you, but every time I feel like there's a curse or there's an inconvenience or there's a struggle, in that mix is some kind of blessing that God is doing. I don't know about you, but I have been struggling not having my gym time. But you know what? The other day, I actually was running around with my boys because if I'm not going to go to the gym, I might as well get exercise. And you know what? I had a blast with my boys. I had a fun chasing them around, playing tag. And you know what? Running around with those boys is a lot harder than going to any gym. With that being said, make sure you're taking time to figure out what God is doing. That there is goodness. That there is greatness that's happening. And we are people who continue to do things to remind us of the goodness of what God is doing even amidst coronavirus. Hey, remind you, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Connect with us. Make sure you comment underneath or call us, email us. Let us know what you need. Let us know how we can best serve and care for you. Because listen, Starting Around's Church is about being grounded, rooted, reaching. Being an unconventional church for intentional connection and ministry that matters. So let us do that. Let us not stop doing that now. If you're interested in supporting this ministry and the ways in which we serve you and the community, you can certainly text 84321. And underneath that, you can just put the amount you want to give and that'll send you over to secure site to be able to give and continue what God is doing amongst Starting Grounds Church. All right, SGC, 
This is just the beginning. We'll see you soon.